Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken, we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore Run, highest difficulty, single save game and no reruns. It's time to take down Sacred Coil. Their cathedral is here and I'm expecting nothing other than a banger mission. We bring our A-team, uh, three proposed encounters and we do have the classical layout that we um, have had uh, beforehand. Um, I really like uh, the team and uh, to be honest Torque is not yet ready, she's still in training so uh, whether or not she sh should step in for cheer up, I don't know yet, uh, mm, that uh, remains to be seen. The rest of the team is really really solid overall so let's give it a try and see how it goes. Detecting an immense power surge up ahead, be ready for anything. All right. Enemies steal plus one damage during the breach or first unit will have their weapon disabled. Well, none of that is pleasant, um, but I think Cheer Up has an autoloader, so it's not the end of the world. Should we get an aim bonus? Hmm. I don't know yet. I think we're fine for now. Let's save the goodies for the later breaches. Okie dokie, so we got a mech. We got an Andromedon who is aggressive. Got a commando, got a purifier and got an android. We're using Phalanx. Mainly because uh, we can't get down the Andromedon fast enough and I don't want to take any damage. Now the Commando is a good option. Purifier is a good option as well. Yeah, let's start with the mech because I don't, I don't want it. It's Mm, nah, the mech shoots into um, into cover. Let's start with the purifier. I don't want to be burned and fried alive. Fire is a nasty status effect. Good. That means it is down, if I'm not mistaken. Good. And we can... Uh, we might as well just kill the android. Good, android is at 1 HP. <coughs> definitely, the Andromedon is definitely one of our um, main targets. It's coming next, by the way, huge portal here. Oh, hello. can tell you what's wrong with it, it's pissed. Oh man, I'm out. Okay, so we got a couple of options here. Are we already using supercharge? Probably not. But what we can do is, we can indeed hand over our shield. If we were to charge in, I mean, yeah, we could hit two of them, but we would expose ourselves quite a bit. Instead, let's reload with the autoloader and think really firmly whom do we want to kill. If we could take one off the table, it would probably be the Andromedon, to be honest. The Android, we will take shots, but all of that is easily healable. I think the Andromedon, with, uh, with its potential to... Uh, use its acid blast for us is a problem. Where we go, Maul shall follow. <laughs> it 
Interesting. Lightning reflexes prevents um, return fire. That is different than an XCOM. In XCOM it would only uh, prevent normal overwatches. Uh, we're taking out the Ronin. Your thoughts are mine. Only stunned for one round, but for melee characters that's quite a bit. And let's use the Andromedon. You know what, let's use the Commando. To deal some damage. The Andromedon will die in a second. As we must. Uh, the Commando was supposed to hit someone. Apparently that didn't really work out super well. Okay, so I think we should uh, probably push down the mag to next round. That way Blue Blood can kill it and we're only going to take a turret uh, shot. Yeah, seems acceptable uh, to me. We're almost back up. Good. Now it's time to deal with uh, these unpleasant enemies. Highest priority. Get him off. Um, yeah, we. I mean, a nice multi hit would definitely help, don't get me wrong, but I think we can't do that. So might as well continue taking out the targets one by one. Thanks to our blue screen rounds, uh, that's not a problem. The shell is not so dangerous and we can deal with the android next. Alright. Shut down those generators. We gotta shut down the generator over here, elsewise reinforcements will continue to arrive. Cheer up, takes the kinetic shield himself. And let's hit the commando. It's poisoned, uh, which means it'll take additional damage. Unfortunately, not three. Slowly but surely need to get over there. Let's take out the Andromedon because I really don't want to deal with it. Perfect. That's a full control. Now we still need to get to here and I think Cheer Up is the right person to do so. Commando is already dead. We don't need to deal with that. The chrysalids will cause a, pro uh, a problem. If we were to mind flay, that would deal solid damage to everyone. Yeah, I think that's the right play. It's overall the most damage without. I mean, we only have uh, banished once per mission. I don't want to use too many cooldowns here. So let's mind flay. Plus, it keeps one of them unconscious. Moving where we're needed. 
The rupture is bad. We will need to deal with that. We can definitely heal blue blood. On the way. Just what I needed. I don't want to use uh, face off yet. That would be too early. So I guess what we're doing is uh, let's give a cooperation to cheer up because we're going to see a lot of attacks now. And cheer up, puts a kinetic shield on blue blood. Time to carve. That'll provoke a counter attack. Oh yeah, but we do have lightning reflexes. Got to deal with the Ronan. I am wondering why are the why are the chrysalids not provoking attacks of opportunity? Quickly now. Well, that's a lot of punishment for one round. That is indeed a lot of punishment for one round. Let's try to get down the shell. Or at least injure it. Yep, that's a good hit. And this here should deal substantial damage, kill the shell. No, well, not kill the shell. Because we don't have blue screen rounds in our offhand. But deal enough damage. Okay, the shields have worked uh, reasonably well. Cheer up continues to take them himself. Now, in terms of moving a bit closer, let's see what we can do. The good part about this team is its massive um, resilience. Can't really hit someone too hard. Um, I would keep the charges of the shield, uh, but we certainly can take out the chrysalids. There we go. No reinforcements yet, so we're fine. Taking out the chrysalid. Unfortunately, just for one round. And we probably should just kill the Andromedon. Yeah, that's the wisest decision. There we go. Virch hasn't taken literally any damage, so he is absolutely fine. We're healing. Problem is the Ronan down here. Uh, I don't want to use any of the um, of the uh, cooldowns yet. Yeah, but we can't just simply get someone down. That is unfortunate. Uh, we don't have an auto loader, so that's not an option either. Mm. 
The team is doing super well, but it's just uh, the objective is still not even touched. We have a lot of hit points to deal with. And I'm a bit stingy with our resources, which doesn't make it super easy. Yeah, I guess it's a it's an acceptable it's an acceptable idea to take to pull pull someone up here. So we're using the team up ability. We still got the motile and user, and I would simply reload. Ready okay, good enough. Darn it, no ammo. So we could. definitely get on the actual position can't fully get rid of the Ronan though but that's okay here's an idea given that I mean we would take a turret shot but we can heal everything up I just want to make sure um, there are no reinforcements yet so do we really need to hurry that much? Hmm. Let's use a kinetic shield. And what we can do is we can definitely go down here and hit the Ronan. That would expose us though to another hit. Uh, the other option that we can do is we can hit the chrysalid. Again, not killing it completely. But at least we uh, the shell would not affect us. Yeah, let's do that. Turret is just overwatching, so nothing happens there. Ronan decides to step into the asset. Andromedon shell will not do a lot. Once it's uh, once it's blue blood's turn, the he can easily kill both of the shells. We're getting new charges for the kinetic shield, so that's a double charge now. And I'm surprised just how solid the team is against standing here. Yeah, the chrysalid is more dangerous than the shell. And everyone can kill the shell now. Okay, we do have the option to deal with the Ronin right away. That's one down. And that should be the kill. Um, yeah, Blue Blood has only, was only missing one hit point. Oh man, I'm out! Good, let's give ourselves a kinetic shield. Reinforcements are not coming in, so we're fine. Up. 
Moving into cover. Not sure why I wouldn't see the turret from here. Hmm. Back in action. Stepping out. Move down here. Never stop moving. They are the potential reinforcements. Ammunition restore. Alright, cheer up gets one extra turn. And we do have a shield, so Overwatch doesn't really matter. There we go, good job. For her, I think we're just overwatching because she has multiple overwatch shots, just in case the reinforcements are really coming. Chira provides himself with a kinetic shield, and let's just get rid of the turret. And that's the second generator done. And the gate is down. Perfect. Again, might be not um, as alpha strikish as other team comps, but we haven't uh, re uh, we haven't really lost anything. Uh, we only used our team up mode, and that's pretty much it. We're going through the main entrance again. I think a little aim bonus helps, and we should be fine. Reaching in. All right, got a mech, got a turret, got a guardian, got a commando, and got another turret. Let's. Start with the obvious uh, one. We're starting with the mech. Which gets shredded. There's the big fat eyeball floating over there. Killing the turret. And we're going to use his blue screen rounds to kill the mech 100%. That means no aggressors and we kill two just with our entrance. Gatekeeper will flee again. We're going to get you buddy, don't worry. <coughs> Well, sucks being you, buddy. It seems your elder friends have betrayed you. It seems as if your elder friends have betrayed you. Let's give Terminal here a kinetic shield. And we definitely would want to get the Guardian out of the way, but before we do that... Oh, 
I'd like to deal with that robot here. The problem is by moving closer the android will uh, use his self-destruction protocol and that is really not helpful. So I'm almost considering moving a little bit further away to not get the self-destruction protocol. Yeah, I think we're we're going over here. I don't want the self-destruction protocol. And this here's half cover and a better angle. Turret isn't the most dangerous enemy, but it certainly is one that we can stand next to. There's the uh, prime self-destruct. Alright, so definitely take out the purifier. Yep, very good. And then let's get down the commando. Please attack your friend the guardian. Well, if you take the purifier, that's fine for me as well. Either way is good. Everyone is in cover. Yep, and that's uh, return fire, my friend. I wish Chirrup would have a bit better chance to hit. Probably should give him a superior scope. All right, so single action, right? Uh, can't use cooperation on someone else, that's too bad. But we can use pin down. So whom do we want to pin down even further? Not the zombies. Purifier would be an option. Yeah, let's take away Bellos Maros. He's pushed all the way down, that's good, and we can start ripping apart the Guardian. Nice little acid burn, that's good, and we're going through his shields. Purifier can take an action. Alright, so, first things first, the turret needs to go. Okay, we can't even hit the turret. Let's get the android. Uh, not quite a kill, that's unfortunate. In terms of using our face lance, that here this would be a great option. Killing the turret and injuring Bellos Mar quite substantially. The Purifier is a good target, but we can't kill everyone. Gotta pick our battles. I want the android uh, down. Uh, that's unfortunate. Which means Cheer Up needs to deal with the android because this here is more important than killing the android. Ooh, surprisingly the turret still survived. Yeah, there was a little hope that they might uh, fight against against our enemy, 
but it seems everyone's once again fighting against us. Okay, this here almost begs for AoE damage. What's his chance of hitting the android? 50-50. Uh, did we have in his weapon... I'm wondering, did we have a stock? I think we ta if we've taken the stock out of the weapon. Well, probably needs to be a 50-50. Let's give Blue Blood the kinetic shield. If we fail, then this means we're going to take the explosion damage. I hope he's going to hit. Yes, there you go. Good job, cheer up. Bellasmar soon gets his turn. We definitely don't want that to happen. Let's take the Guardian out. Yep, stunned for two rounds, that's perfect. And I don't want to use our ultimate yet, so we're just going to mind flay everyone or alternatively can we hit Bellosmar? No we can't, can't even hit him. Can hit a lot of zombies. We could hit the Guardian um, and he is asseted. Yeah, we're going to do that because he has asset um, damage already going which means uh, he will die once his turn comes around. Alright, that's a problem. We don't want to deal with Tempo Search. So a couple of things here. Can we hit Bellus Mar? Yeah, 90%, that's good. Pretty good moment in time just to use our flashbang. Bellus Mar seems to have a hot temper, that's good. It was not our flashbang, I just realized. Okay, well. Anyways, not a bad uh, deal. We can hit him, and afterwards we can uh, hit him again. That's the first hit. What? We had a second uh, hit ready. I thought I had the grip installed in her weapon. I might have been wrong with that. It's about to go up. Okay, there's... The explosion will only hit... Oh, well, that's a fire explosion. Ah, you don't want to do that. Everyone knows you don't want to do the fire explosion. Why would you be so mean? 
All right, so a couple of things here. Let's start with the face off. It's a good moment in time. The fire explosion will be a bit of a problem. Not, again. Not only for the frame rates, but her burning is a problem. The spectral zombies are not so much of an issue. Lurch has plenty of healing. So that's fine. Let's give Terminal a kinetic shield and we need to we need to deal with the enemies. Let's see how we'll deal with both of the spectral zombies, leaving only the commando uh, standing there. I think not a bad idea. Yeah, we can't completely get down the um, the enemy and killing two is good enough for now. Turtling. All right, so whom could we hit? Yeah, let's start with the commando here. It's a good first hit. And Mind Fraying will take him out plus deal damage to the purifier. There you go, and we are going to heal ourselves. So everything's good with Verge. Not a problem. No shit, get away from there. That that's your tip. I think when standing still you cannot reignite. So what we're going to do is medkit heal. Corporation over to Blue Blood to kill the Purifier. Who's doing exactly that? And now we're looking at everyone with full health, so we can kill the zombie and move on. Yeah, not too many cooldowns used here. I think we're fine. We've used we've used um, face off though. All right, first unit is marked. Well, that's fine. Chirop can be marked, and let's make sure. Let's make sure we're having a solid order. Stay behind me. We do not have phalanx. But we've disabled a couple of the weapons. Turret. 
Commando is disabled. Mac. A Guardian. Probably a good target for us. Android. Oh no, we're going for the Purifier. Or the Andromedon. Let's ignore the Andromedon for now. We're going for the Purifier first. I'm almost inclined to take a shot with Blue Blood onto a mechanical target due to his immense damage. Instead, on uh, instead of the purifier, let's take the take out the android. No self destruct means <clears throat> we're taking less damage. Purifier. All right. So whom can we lift? The guardian. That's good. That's one hit. We go where we must. Those gates, they're connected to a hyperwave relay. What the heck is this place? All right, kill the gatekeeper to shut down the relay. Well, we can certainly do that. And Virch is the guy who can actually kill him. Cheer up is kinetic shielding himself. Let's hit the Guardian. Poisoning him for even more damage on his turn. Okay, the Guardian will use his shield, most likely. Oh, that was a mistake, buddy. Oh, he got the lighting reflexes still. I hate that dark event. Should have um, should have probably chosen uh, the one that gives you more um, Andromedons, to be honest. So how much damage would we deal to the gatekeeper? A lot. <coughs> but we also we would also take a lot of damage. So let's take out the other mechs first. That's one down. I don't mind the turret, to be honest. Nice damage, that's good. And when we're looking at face lands, this here could start hitting quite hard. Guardian would definitely be affected, Andromedon would partially be affected. So yeah, let's let's do that. The Guardian would be dead. With a poison, he's gone. The Andromedon is halfway gone. Okay, in terms of initiative order, let's push down the Andromedon. The Gatekeeper will die eventually, so I don't think we need to deal with uh, him. Extra turns on Blue Blood is the name of the game here. Blue Blood gets two extra turns. He has good chances of hitting 
almost everything here. Hmm, we leave the gatekeeper for our for our friend Verge, who can deal with it. It's only a 50-50, but we need to go through its armor. You know what? Let's kill the gatekeeper. Yeah, our damage output is still pretty damn good. We could, we could simply, um, we could simply mind control the Andromedon, but we're doing something else. First shot, uh, getting rid of this. Uh, second shot, banish because we still have the ability. And even though the individual shots might not be super high. I was about to say, he with 40% he should at least hit one or two. Wow. That's a display of of non uh, no shots that are being hit whatsoever. Finally with the last shot he gets him down. <coughs> Good job, Verge. Yeah. And we still had uh, plenty of cooldowns uh, left over. I mean, looking at our cooldown management, we probably could have gone um, way more crazy earlier in the uh, in the mission. Uh, specifically, the first room, I was I I didn't want to uh, pull too many cooldowns. Could have probably I had a much easier time. But the first room in itself shows you even if you're using zero cooldowns whatsoever, that team with its double healing is stationary, very, very resilient, tanky, has great action economy. So yeah, that worked out well. Got a lot of, um, a lot of small rewards. Chimera squad. Sacred Coil got more than they bargained for when they threw open that gate. That gatekeeper must have been sent here five years ago. It was stuck in transit since XCOM won the war. Scattered cells remain throughout the city, but Sacred Coil as an organization is no more. Perfect. This so-called Sacred Coil was about to open a portal under our very streets. Just, just think of that. Dire as that may be, let's not forget the lies they spread about the faith. You're right, Gorgo. That was downright despicable. It's important to understand their draw, Roger. For strangers feeling sick, perhaps unwelcome, the promise of a cure is a powerful drive. But to endanger so many just to save yourself? Indeed. Such was the insidious nature of Sacred Coil. So, we upgraded our... Robot. Not that we ever had have needed it. Your latest investigation turned up no link to Mayor Nightingale's death, but we found more signs of external backing. 
Atlas was connected to each of these groups. Why? What did they have to gain? If the progeny couldn't possibly force a psionic evolution, why would Atlas back their flawed tech? Gray Phoenix wanted nothing more than to leave. What would Atlas get with an absent ally? And Sacred Coil? Did Atlas truly need fanatic advent holdouts with a busted psionic gate? There's something we're missing. Director, you need to see this. Unknown assailants have overrun the city council's emergency session. The following footage may be alarming to watch. Our response must be unanimous. This is beyond politics. It's about stability. Do you think it's Atlas? It's an attack on City Hall. That's all that matters. Chimera Squad, head out. Nice one. Alright, we're going to do that mission next. We still got a couple of uh, a couple of our operators in training. And yeah, I mean we have we have all uh, we have all the supplies that we needed. I think we're going in with the exact same team because uh, Torque is not yet ready. Thank you for watching. We're going to do uh, the next mission in our next episode. And uh, see you very soon. Bye-bye.